Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me and welcome to this explosion that's on my desk. Um, so I've raided my craft room. I've pulled out loads of things. I've probably pulled out way too much, but you know what? This is all about fun today. So um, this is the second part of our Sort It Out Saturday. You saw me earlier, hopefully, um, going through my laces, my trims, my fabric scraps um, to get everything organised. Today is about using up some of those things, but also little things that I just neglect in my craft room. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So I have got fabric scraps, trims, <laughs> and things like that. Um, I have got uh, little ephemera pieces, die cuts, uh, little things that I've punched out of my scraps. I've got words, I've got labels, I've got little scraps of off cuts of things um, and then I've got all these little things in here which are basically just um, you know the little like stickers and ephemera pieces that you'll get in a pack of crafting things or if you've bought a journal kit from Etsy. Uh, I've got a few fussy cuts, I've got a few die cuts, just a whole hodgepodge of different things and it's today is all about getting some of these things used up um, and my idea for this is to make snippet strips. Now I'm sure you know there are lots of videos out there for how to do them. Everyone does them differently. I'm just going to show you a few options as to how I tackle mine. So in case you've not seen a snippet strip or my video earlier, this is what a snippet strip kind of looks like. Um, the idea is that you start with a base. It can be paper, fabric, lace, whatever. And then you just build up things on top of it. And the idea is that we can then come in and just cut off this portion, for example, if we want to. Um, and then this can be used to decorate something or just as a page embellishment. Um, of course, you can use the whole entire thing. I mean, this could be a belly band if we wanted. Um, so that is an example. So the things that I've got as my bases, I've got some of the trims I was organising earlier. I've just backed them onto some strips of paper, um, torn around the edge to give us just um, more of a solid base than if I was just working on the trim. It also makes it easier to glue down onto a page because we've got that paper backing. Um, I've also got just some off cuts of fabric or some laces that I wouldn't really know what to do with. I'm going to use those as bases. And I've also torn into some of my collage sheets that I showed you uh, the week before last where I had a bunch of strips. So these are just paper backed onto book page, uh, you know, just for strength. And these are now solid bases for us to decorate up. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So um, I've kind of got everything all over my desk. Um, I am working with a small area. So um, I'm hoping you'll be able to see, see things, but I might just um, have a little move around because um, obviously the main thing is I want you to be able to see these. So, um, I think we'll just start with a few different things. Um, maybe if we start with the fabric ones. Um, and we'll just, yeah, we'll just see what we can come up with today. I'm not looking at the timer. I refuse to today. So if I need to edit the video down, then I will. So, let's have a little think about what we're going to do. So, um, these, this is fabric with some lace just glued on top. Uh, we might want to come in with some eyelash trim or some gold leaf trim or something, which I do quite like for that one. And today I'm kind of going with a botanical woodlandy type of vibe, um, just because uh, alongside, I'm just checking, can you see all that? If I move that up, is that better? Um, yeah, alongside the Edith Holden project, I'm also working on my green fairy journal which uh, has, it started to take on sort of like a botanical, leafy, foresty, woodland type of a vibe, um, which I'm, you know, I'm really excited about. Um, I think I've said before, I, I, I work well with seasons and I'm inspired by what's outside of my window and what I see on my walks and things. And... Um, I mentioned before about having a tree right outside my window and today 
it is bright green <laughs> it is full of leaves and it just looks absolutely splendid ahead of you know the spring and summer so yeah that's um that's kind of what i'm inspired by today so let's just go with it um now i do want to do some vertical and some horizontal um just in case i want to use them for different things so i think this one i will do i'll keep that one vertical this one i might do horizontal because i imagine this one i'll probably want to just snip into so let's just focus on these two first because otherwise i'm going to get myself confused and i'm going to get you confused in the process so this one is a good nail base for doing something with um this one i just want to see if we want to use anything um don't know i've got some of this thing that i thought was like mossy like which we might want to use or i've got some gold leaf trim and really this 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 type of thing is really just about having a play um to be honest um, now I am using gold because this is a this is for my fairy journals probably and um, I think because this one's going to be horizontal I'll go with the the mossy like one so let me just dot this in as I say I'll probably cut this one down into little little bits anyway I don't think I'll keep this one as a whole um, now holy fabrics are harder to use um, if you're just going to glue things down, um, because obviously you've got the holes to contend with. But I, I like the sort of the rustic, the rustic kind of curled up vibe this one's giving me. So I'm just going to kind of go with that. Okay. And I'm wondering if we want to come in with anything else on this one. My newly organised trims, I can get to nice and easy now. Kind of want to do that, just because. So yeah, today is all about playtime. <laughs> Absolute just playtime today. Now I might stitch these types of things after, I might, if I fancy it. Oh my goodness me. I think I might need to get another glue out. This one is, whoops, down to the last bit and it's getting very gloopy. I've probably been complaining about that for the last several videos. <laughs> I really have. Anywho, let's, uh, let's do that. I think I just wanted to tone down some of that mossy look behind and give it more of an enchanted sort of vibe um because as i say this is for my fairy journal so i'm happy to have gold mixed in with woodland types things um but i do want some of that brown showing behind so there we go right they're going to look very messy to begin with and i'm going to get glue all over myself <laughs> but let's just go with it okay Right, this one's going to be this way. Okay, hopefully you can see enough of that. Right, I'm just going to grab another glue because it's gone so gloopy. Okay, that's better. So I think I'm just going to, um, yes, just going to go with it. Okay, so I've got various things. As I say, I've just completely raided my room. Um... And yeah, I just <laughs> I'm hoping I haven't done that thing where I've got too much out and then I just get overwhelmed. But let's just um let's go one at a time and then we'll just see how much we can get done. As I say, I'm not really thinking too much today. Well I'm gonna try not to anyway. Um and we're just gonna see what we can come up with. I've also got some Tim Holtz ephemera pieces here which uh, I might want to use. <clears throat> um, now, that is technically a mushroom rather than a toadstool. 
I was just thinking I've got a word here that says toadstool, but it's a mushroom. Do you think that matters? <laughs> uh, do I have a... I do. I have a little toadstool here. Let's see. Yes. And then we can put... You can just about see that, can't you? Maybe I can move that one out of the way. Let's just go one at a time. Oops. Okay. Should we have that? Something like that? Maybe? <clears throat> I don't know how many we're going to get done today, but as I say, I just want to get as many as I can done. And if I need to split the video or whatever, then I'll just do that. Because, you know, it, it becomes one of those things where you just kind of want to sit for the next hour crafting. Um, but, you know, it's uh, you have to think about the video and everything, don't you, really? But there we go. Uh, and then I'm just going to glue those down. So... As easy as that really and as I say we'll just snip into these I suppose that's why they're called snippets um, snippet strips yeah we'll just snip into them when we come to use them um, and I think I, I said in my video earlier today didn't I about um, it uh, I'm gonna be hanging these from uh, safety pins uh, or bulb pins you know either one would work fine um, and I'm going to have these hanging up so that I don't forget that I've got them. And um, then we can just, uh, you know, get them get them used. Um, and also, if you're not going to use them straight away, if you are going to make these, you know, as like a mass make type of a thing, then um, uh, storing them is becomes quite difficult. But if we were to... Where did I want that? Right there. Yeah, if we were to um, hang them up, then that would be fine, wouldn't it? Okay. So these do come together very quickly if you don't overthink things, <laughs> which I'm very guilty of. Um, and yeah, my, my goal is to really just to get a bunch of things used up that I might otherwise ignore. Like, you know, this little piece, I mean, you know, what are you going to do with it? Well, this is a perfect use case for them, really. So we have that as like um, a background. Um, maybe for this one, we want to come in with um, a butterfly, which I think ideally I want something to offset the green or stand out against the green or, you know, be a bit darker, maybe. Um, and then I want something plainer for behind it. So that could be maybe something like this. Where again, this is just this is just a, a scrap, isn't it? Um, at the end of the day, it's just a piece of scrap. Um, so we could do. I suppose we want something going a different way. Maybe um. Sorry, I know I'm leaning all over the place, but it's one of those videos where I'm just kind of just winging it um, a little bit. So I've got some offcuts of scrapbook paper, which I might want to tear into. Now, this would be a very good video for talking <laughs> and just generally having a conversation, but it's one of those... Uh, I end up concentrating, don't I? <laughs> I'm not very... Something like that. I mean, really, that just becomes like a cluster on top, but... Let's see. I want to see more of those... These letters, I think. These numbers. I hope that you can see this, because I realise I'm not... Uh, I'm not actually looking up right now. I mean, it looks fine, so... Yeah, we're just going to go with it. So yeah, a lot of inking today because, you know, I didn't know what I was going to use. So 
Um, I think I've been probably a bit, uh, what's the word, ambitious <laughs> with how many I think we'll get done, but, you know, it, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're just gonna, we're just gonna see. So, for this one I'm just going to just shove some glue on and just stick it down where I think it looks good. So yeah, today is a, I suppose it's a, an all kinds of scraps day where, you know, I probably would ignore these things on a normal daily basis, but sitting down to actually do this makes me, makes me do it, <laughs> makes me use them. And uh, as you can see, I'm not being so precious about uh, what I'm sticking where and whatnot. I'm just kind of going with it. And to be honest, with this type of thing, clusters, snippets, collaging, I think it actually works better when you just go for it and you don't, like, think, overthink things. And trust me, that is rich coming from me because I overthink things a lot of the time. But for this type of a thing, I think we do want to not not do that so much. Um but I, but I am trying to use different things on my desk rather than it just be the same thing over and over again. Um, so I am thinking about what I'm going to do next. Um, but that's just because I'm doing it on video and I want it to be interesting for you to see different things as opposed to the same thing over and over again. Right, this one. So I've got these uh, vintage tickets here, look, which are really, really very scrappy looking. Um, this would be perfect for using these up um, because I I have these in my shop as part of an ephemera, vintage ephemera type of a pack um, and I never ever send these out because they're just too scrappy. You know, I send out the best ones um, but then it means that I'm just sitting on them <laughs> not knowing and you know what to do with them really. Uh, what do we want to do with this one then? Um, I've got all types of different things, haven't I? Just grabbing things and yeah I'm just grabbing them really so I think I think that one is because we're going this way I think I want something smaller um so I think I might go with some uh scraps of paper so, and I realize I'm completely ignoring my um my fabric scraps. <laughs> this is supposed to be a fabric scraps video. And there's me. Well, I suppose, I, you know, I was using the... Oh, what am I doing? I want to go this way. Okay. Probably made that a bit too small, but... Again, just kind of winging it, going with it. Um, what else can we use for that one? Could put in a flower or a got these little words maybe definitely want something else I've already used a butterfly although I've got this nice green butterfly I'm really liking these considering I am just winging it and completely just shoving things down. <laughs> I'm really liking them. That kind of looks like it's like um, a specimen type of a thing, doesn't it? Now that one's smaller. I'm wondering, can I? No, I pr probably best not. I think we'll get three on this one. Um, but I am going to add something else if I can, just to fill up some of the space. Um, what could we add behind? Or does it need it? Might not need it. Let's ink it and find out. <laughs> My goodness me uh, I tell you this is probably why I try very hard just to focus on projects because when I actually just let my let my words just come out you never know what you're gonna get from me you just don't <laughs> that's that's completely me just when I let it all out I'm just like I don't know what I'm gonna tell you I don't know what I'm gonna say um I have no filter really 
let's be honest. So again, I'm going to do the same thing where I start with I start with a piece and then we're just going to dab some glue on it. So that I think yeah, I, I can't remember who said, but somebody said about if you're building up things, sometimes it's easier to do it in your hand. Um, probably because you get more control over it, isn't it? I tell you what I could do, I could add a fabric scrap in this one, couldn't I? I could. I could. Okay, I'm just going to add this number and then we might see about adding in. Uh, or we might not, it depends. Um, I think because we're using the... Actually, I quite like that there. Let's see what it looks like. No, I think we want it. Want it with the butterfly, do we? Mm hmm. Yeah, I was going to say because we use. Oh, actually, move that over. Because we're using the uh, the fabrics already, we might not want to add in fabric scraps to this one. We might not. We don't know. I don't know, do we? Um, shall we see? Um, I don't want any gold. Maybe some some lace or something. Oops. So really, yeah, I mean you can get so many uses out of these. Um I don't know what I'm gonna use mine for yet, but I'm sure we will find out. I just find them helpful to have just, you know, sitting around in your stash really, uh, for you to, you know, grab and and use and just have them ready to go as opposed to having to make these things um ad hoc. Because you know, if you're gonna do this where you just get loads of things out on your on your desk, then I just think that one's fine on its own, so I'm just gonna stick that down. Uh yeah, if you're going to do this where you get everything out on your desk, um, you probably want to make, you know, a, a whole heap in one go, as opposed to just doing this as and when you need them. Um, I think that's probably, yeah, easiest, really. So we've got a three on that one. I think we probably could have gotten four, but it would have been a little bit of a squeeze, maybe. So that's... This one, I mean, yeah, they do come together very quickly. And as I say, you know, once we snip into it, I mean, that's a really cute embellishment, isn't it? So um, if I pop that one out the way to dry, let's go for this one. Um, so this one, I think I want to go with probably something similar in the sense of I would chop into this, probably because of the eyelash trim. So... Let's just see what we can get. And then once I've done these two, I'll do some of the paper ones um, just in case we, we do run out of time. Then, you know, at least we can. Um... We can get a few things in. So I've done a few of these things where with my scraps, I just kind of punch out random shapes, flowers, hearts, butterflies, uh, tickets kind of a thing. Um, because for this type of thing it does come in very handy you never know when you're going to want to to use them um, that's just a, a thing I do and I realize that label is the wrong way but I don't mind um, I keep using mushrooms I've used one toadstool just thinking because it's kind of a brown. But I would want something else with it. So again, we've already got gold on here. Um, I feel like it wants something in between the label and the ticket shape. Um, maybe some greenery. So I've got various little scraps and um, what could we use 
kind of green. I suppose you want a dark green. So let's just go for it. So yeah, if you're sitting on just a load of stuff, um, then you know, hopefully you're you're thinking now about um, just getting them out and having a bit of a play. Let's see, I might need to turn that down a bit more. Now I don't know if I mentioned I am um, I've been coughing a lot lately um because uh I had I'm pretty sure my husband and I caught covid um in when was it was it February um I'm pretty sure we didn't we didn't do a test or anything um to be honest we were too ill to even think about um having testing done you know um we just we just laid in bed anyway and ever since i've been um i've been coughing a lot um just like not a, a cough cough but like um i don't know what to call it like a just a <clears throat> type sound so i'm sorry if i'm doing that on video a lot um i sort of noticed that i was doing it and yeah i sort of um i so i think it's related to that um so i am sorry if that's not a very nice sound, and um, I, I just can't help it, unfortunately. But that's that. Um, so I don't really have any news to tell you at this point. I do have news, but I'm not allowed to share it yet. Um, so if you caught my video, I did a show and tell video, I'm not sure when exactly, but a while ago. And I mentioned I've got some exciting news to, to tell you. I can't share it yet because I'm not allowed to. Um, uh, but it is, it is coming. I haven't forgotten. Um, I just have to wait for the, the right time. It's related to, yeah, it's, it's related to something exciting, <laughs> is all I can say, um, at this point. But yeah, it's, uh, it's coming. So I haven't forgotten. And as I said, I will, I will say like exciting news, you know, when it comes to it kind of a thing. So this might end up being a little bit of a longer video. I was supposed to put that in there. Um, because, yeah, I really do want to get a whole bunch of these done. And I am trying my absolute hardest to do different things rather than just the same, the same thing. As I said, we'll get these two done, or this one done, and then we'll go on to do some of the paper ones. Because that might be interesting for you to see as well um those that the paper ones i'll end up doing so these ones are more like snippets that you can just snip into and use um you know as little embellishments and things um the paper ones i will do them much more i'll probably go much more uh what's the word just all over cover up the entire paper almost um and again, the idea is still the same. You can snip into them, uh, but it will be much more hodgepodge rather than this, which is, uh, I suppose, much more placed, isn't it? Where I sort of have a, I have an idea exactly of where I want things to go. Actually, yeah. Okay. But we'll just, um, yeah, we'll just go with it. So thank you so much for all your comments. Um, recently, uh, yeah, Edith Holden seems to be quite popular, um, which is well, <laughs> rightly so. She should be popular. Um, so that's that's been amazing. Um, and yeah, the sorted out Saturday. As I say, I I'm very very humbled by the fact that you know you want to spend this time with me, um, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a marvel because um, as I say, when I first did the series, I thought, oh, you know, I don't know if people will want to watch these things, but it held me accountable for doing it, which has been a really really big help for me. So, you know, thank you for thank you for being cool enough to um, you know be okay with me doing that and um, sort of just yeah spending your time with me and 
and all the rest of it. I, I genuinely do appreciate it. I don't know if I say it enough. I hope I do. But, um, yeah, I really do. And, um, yeah, receiving your comments is just an absolute uh, delight each time, you know. Right, what do I want for this? Um, ooh, I've got some pretty, pretty little white lilies here. I think these are uh, the Tim Holtz ephemera pack. It's his field notes one. Um, and I just went with the cheapest pack um, because, I, you know, the, yes, they are very small. Some of these things are like absolutely tiny, but for this type of a thing, it's ideal. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of went with it, really. Um, what am I doing with this one? <laughs> uh, I think we want, because this piece is bigger, we probably want something longer. Oh, I have a mushroom. Oops. Oh, I've done mushrooms again. I keep doing mushrooms. Give me something else to play with. I've got some leaves. Um, now I cut these with my dies from um, spotty paper. But I don't mind it actually. So let's use one of those. I quite like the curve of that one. So let's find... No, we want the other one. Where's it gone? Um, that one was the wrong way round, which is why I'm not using it. Um, no, that's, no, we definitely want a curve. Find a curve, Justine. There we go, that's that one. Let's see if we can work this in somewhere. Probably don't need that little scrap, I think. Maybe just that. Um, I do feel like it wants something else. Maybe this would be a good use for that ticket I said about. Or oh, tickets. Because these are like so. I feel like I'm just going with the same sort of shapes. But to be honest, I don't mind because, you know, I, li I like the shaping. Um... And then, it's not a fern, but it could be a sapling. Mm, could be. Or we've got some Tracy Fox labels. Um, I got a little, little one. Let's just have a little rifle through. I should really print these labels, um, you know, two to a page so I can get little ones as well, little little pieces, because that's a bit big. Um, I've got this offcut of Ticket, which could be kind of cool. Um, I feel like it wants more. It wants more. What does it want? Um, do we have a little... A little butterfly or something. Ooh, I have more. Let's see. No, that would be that's too much. <coughs> Excuse me. Does it want just that? Yeah, maybe. Let's ink it and find out. That's, <laughs> is that the motto of today? Just ink it and see? Probably. Okay. Yeah, so these will be nice page embellishments or to decorate envelopes with or whatever. Now I probably am not going to need all of these, so I am thinking about putting some packs of things in my Etsy shop, which I've not done before, um, but I sort of want to go with the idea of, um, otherwise I just sit on a lot of things, um, because I don't make journals quickly enough. So I am thinking about, um, yeah, putting some stuff in my shop, which um, would be more just like ephemera bundles and things, which may be of interest, they might not. 
Um, for this little leaf I'm going to use my tacky glue just because it's a smaller nozzle and it's only going on paper. And then that way if it splodges out everywhere, which is want to do, then um, I won't have like a shiny, shiny residue. Okay. Perfect. Oops, I just really forgot that wasn't glued on yet. It's got a mind of its own. Right, there we go. How's that? Yes. And do the same here. Um, right, let's pop this on there. How's that going to look? Something like that. And then... Do we want this? There. There's no rhyme to reason with where I place things, by the way. I just go with what, what, does, what looks nice. Um... I think I probably, I do do a thing where I travel around pieces to see if it's, um, does it rest on something that is maybe a bit plain or blank or something. Um, but really it just comes with, to be honest it just comes with practice I think of just what you, what you like the look of and everything. Um, and I'm a big, a big advocate for just get out and do it and you know, learn learn by doing really. Learn by just giving it a go. Okay. Might want something else on that, I'm not sure, but I'll move on for now. Um right, let's do something different because I am sort of doing the same thing over and over again, I feel. Which isn't nothing wrong with that. If I like it, then you know. Um so what have we got here? use that one. All right, let's just put that down. And I've used a sticker. What haven't I used yet? I kind of used a little bit of everything, haven't I? I haven't used any fabric yet, but that will I think that will come with the paper ones. Um used a lot of mushrooms I don't want any more mushrooms <laughs> nothing wrong with mushrooms love them but yeah I think I want something else <clears throat> I keep doing the same don't I they keep going you know like this uh, I don't know it might be a bit of a boring video to just keep seeing the the same things but um but you know I like them so Maybe, 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 we can make a mess on our desk <laughs> and we could even put some gold leaf trim on this one maybe. Let's cut a portion off, just a little bit, I don't want to go, I don't want too much. And maybe we could do that. No. No. No, we don't want that. Hmm. Could just go with a... I haven't used too many butterflies. I've used two butterflies so far. So I think maybe we can get away with another one. Now I am using digitals from various different places um, and different fussy cuts and things. So uh, if I get time and slash remember, I will try my hardest to list them down below um just because I keep um I keep forgetting to say what I'm using so I think that just might make it easier just to say where I got things from because I'm using a whole hodgepodge of different things really um to be honest now for this one I think we can go big label or big number or something um just to fill up that space um, already got a number on it now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this one out on my scissors um, 
I don't want this to be as long so I think if I cut it there because you don't see the bottom of it anyway and then if I tear this down like so and uh, tear across there and tear across here Oops. like that and then that that can go like so and then this can go like so and then this can go like so still feel like it wants something else maybe if I move these these up let's see sorry if I'm being really quiet by the way um <laughs> it's <laughs> concentration time um and also yeah I'm just in a bit of a quiet mood today that's that's all yeah that's cute so you know what comes next <laughs> um yeah I re I'm really loving these I really am absolutely love them um and to say you know layering and stuff I I actually really struggle with it um uh, you know I think those of you who watch me on a regular basis will know that you know I do struggle with where to place things and and whatnot so this is a huge learning curve for me to just wing it a bit and actually I'm really liking how they're turning out because of that because we're just winging it and we're just going with it um it does seem to be you know they do seem to be turning out quite nice um course I might have just shot myself in the foot a little bit with um, <laughs> with that we shall see now did I have that one over or under Oops, wrong way around isn't it I can't remember now I think I'm going to do that I've probably changed the whole look of it haven't I <clears throat> that's okay though and stick this one down These are going to look really nice hanging up as well. Because um, at the end of the day, we have to remember that's part of this thing, is sorting out our stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, these are going to look really nice just hanging. Um, they're going to be like, you know, quite decorative, really, aren't they? Like so. And then I'm going to whoo, be heavy-handed with the glue again. <laughs> and just put that on there. right that's the last one on here again we got three on each strip didn't we and again we could have potentially got some more if I'd done the spacing a bit differently but you know it doesn't matter I'm happy with them like so so that's that one I still feel like it wants something else I don't know if I can move that now no I can't I still feel like this one is missing something here but I feel like a word is um, these are not the right sort of words anymore but I feel like a word would be overkill um, it could always be like a smaller butterfly maybe um, I got like a really tiny one yeah it could be um, let me just check what butterflies that I've got okay there we are just pop that little butterfly on there as well so I think that finishes that one off and then this one it, I might want to add more but I also want some more you know more gen ge general ones I suppose that can go into any kind of botanicals or really any journal so we've got those so far which um, are very similar but I don't mind that really um, so we want to do some paper ones now so I'm just going to get myself reorganised um, and then we'll see about doing some paper ones. So on second thoughts, I think I will stick with these two today. Um, I am going to go on and do these paper ones, which I'll film as a separate video and I'll put that up tomorrow on Sunday instead. 
um, just because the length of the video, you know, was quite a bit of time to do these, um, which is, you know, it's fair enough. I was jabbing away. So um, that's that. So, yeah, I will pause the video here or stop the video here. Um, I hope you like how these turned out. I absolutely love them, um, considering I wasn't really thinking too much. And as I say, the idea for these is we will just snip into them and look at that look. That's going to be a really nice page embellishment or something to decorate up, you know, envelopes, pockets, the fronts of journal covers even, just different things, whatever you can find a use for them, really. So I'll pause it there or stop there. And uh, tomorrow uh, you'll see the video for these where we'll make up some... Um, basically these are the strips from my collage sheets and I'm just going to simply these are sort of some of the most neutral boring ones I guess and we're just going to completely cover them with different interesting things fussy cuts and whatnot and then we'll have some really interesting pieces to use again so um thanks ever so much for joining me for those uh, fabric ones um I hope you enjoyed the video I'm sorry we didn't get as much done as I wanted to but that's the way the, these things go um and if you're joining me tomorrow then I'll see you then. Uh, if not, uh, I'll be back on Monday with my usual Monday video, whatever that might be. We're not sure. <laughs> I haven't filmed it yet. Um, anyway, I will speak to you soon and uh, have a lovely rest of your day and weekend. Bye bye for now.